Hi everyone, it's Ian here and welcome to tutorial 40 on how to calculate speed distance time. Okay, so just a quick bit of information about speed distance time for you. Speed is the thing that we really need to focus on in our speed distance time collection because the speeds are what gives us our information about how to do all of this stuff. So what you've got to do is you've got to think about the units of speed that we have. So if you think about some speed units, you might know miles per hour, okay? You might know uh, meters per second, you might know kilometers per hour. So this is the, these are the key to really being able to master speed distance time questions. Because if you can understand what each of these mean, then it allows you just to kind of work out your answers, okay? <laughs> and I know this sounds really vague, so I'm gonna move on to a question because I know it's a lot easier when we actually see a question. So what I want us to do is I want to look at this first question here, which is what is the speed if the distance is 200 meters and the time is 20 seconds? So what I mean by that is what speed is somebody going if they travel 200 meters in 20 seconds? Okay, so we're here we have meters and seconds. So our speed for this question, the unit of speed that we're going to be looking at here is going to be meters per second. So what we want to know with that is we want to know with how many meters they're going every second. So this is what a speed is. If you hear someone's going 10 meters per second, that means they're going 10 meters for every second. So actually, when we think about it like that, what we can see is this question is actually a direct proportion question. <laughs> okay, yep, it's there again. Um, I, I'm telling you, honestly, if you can get direct proportion down, your functional skills test will be a breeze, okay? Because direct proportion is pretty much the solution to every single question. Well, <laughs> well give or take. Um, so we know that we're looking for meters per second, okay? So we're looking for one second equals how many meters? So how many meters are they going in one second? So I'm gonna put a one here. So one second equals a mystery number of meters. So this is our goal, to find out how many meters they're going in each second. So for each second, how many meters they're going? So we're told that in 20 seconds, they go 200 meters. Okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna write that down. I'm gonna keep my seconds on the left because I've got the seconds and I want one second. This is what I want. This is what speed is. Speed is how far you're going for every one of the time measurement. So I want to know how far they go in one second. I've got 20 seconds equals 200 meters. So I need to find out one second. So in order to find out one second, I'm gonna divide by 20 here. And because it's directly proportional, I'm gonna divide by 20 here. So 20 divided by 20 gives me one. 200 divided by 20 gives me 10. Oh, and here we go. So I know that one second, in one second, they're going 10 meters. So this means they are going 10 meters per second. That is their speed. Okay, let's have a look at another question. So here we have another question. And this question says, what is the distance traveled if the speed is 50 kilometers per hour and they're traveling for two hours? Okay, so let's think about what this means. 50 kilometers per hour. So what this means is that one hour equals 50 kilometers. In every one hour, that equals 50 kilometers. So we've got our direct proportion. So one hour equals 50 kilometers. How many hours are they traveling for? Two. So how do we get from one to two? We times it by two. So we also have to times the 50 by two. So that means they'll have gone 100 kilometers. Okay, great. Have a think about that. Let's do one more. Okay, here we go. We've got another question here. This question says, what is the time taken if the speed is 30 meters per second and the distance is 150 meters? So here we have it, 30 meters per second and the distance is 150 meters. Right, this time I'm gonna write it the other way around because we're going from meters to meters. So we're saying 30 meters equals one second, okay? 
30 meters equals one second. And now we know that they're gonna travel 150 meters. Okay, so if 30 meters equals one second, okay, every one second they're going 30 meters, we need to get up to 150 meters. Now, I'm gonna go the long way for those people that can't spot it, but if you've spotted the direct route, well done, we're gonna go through that afterwards. But here we go, let's go the long way first. So we know that 30 meters is one second. So we need to find out how many seconds it takes to go one meter. So I've got my calculator. 30 divided by 30 equals one, and one divided by 30 equals 0.033333. So that means in every one meter, every one meter that they travel, takes them 0.03 seconds. Now, we know that they're gonna go 150 meters. So we need 150 lots of one to get 150 meters, but we also need 150 lots of our 0.033333. So I'm gonna times that by 150 and that equals five. So I can now see that 150 meters will take them five seconds, okay? So the quicker way, if anyone spotted that, was some people might have spotted that 30 to 150 was just times five. So we could have gone straight from the one times five to get to that, but well done. So that there is the answer to that question. So if you need to watch this again, have a think about it. That's great, do that. If you wanna pause here, go to Crack Maths, tutorial 40 practice some of these questions that's a great thing if you want to stick around now i'm going to look at some more questions like this but this time in context because often with these speed distance time questions the difficult thing is doing them in context okay so let's have a look here now at a scenario question that i've copied down from crack maths so we've got question one here and it says sarah runs a five kilometer race in 30 minutes what is her speed Okay, now this is actually a bit of a confusing question because we don't do speeds in kilometers per minute, okay? We either do meters per second or we do kilometers per hour. So you're gonna have to pick which one of those that you want to do. Um, I'm gonna go for kilometers per hour because it's a bit of a longer speed. She's run kilometers. Um, let's, I think we can give her her speed in kilometers per hour. Um, so the first thing that I actually need to do then, if I'm gonna do this, is I need to focus on this 30 minutes and turn it into hours. Now, I don't know if you'll know this, but 30 minutes is half an hour. And the way that we're gonna write that in this question is we're gonna do half an hour, we're gonna write that as 0.5 hours, okay? So we know that five kilometers takes her 0.5 hours, okay? Now. The speed that we're gonna do is kilometers per hour. So I'm gonna to want to go from 0.5 hours up to a whole hour to find out what her, how many kilometers she's doing every hour. So I'm gonna write my hours on my left. So I'm gonna say 0.5 hours equals five kilometers. Okay, now what I can do is I can divide both sides by 0.5 because that is gonna give me one, okay? And then that'll be us actually. So 0.5 divided by 0.5 gives us one hour. Five kilometers divided by 0.5 gives us 10 kilometers. So it, that means that she is going 10 kilometers per hour. Now you might have gone a shorter way than that. You might have spotted it. You might have been like, right, if she's done five kilometers in half an hour, that means in one hour she'd do 10 kilometers. Her speed is 10 kilometers per hour. If you spotted that, that is great. The key thing I want to focus on with speed distance time is not getting too wrapped up in any formula, but trying to think about what the speeds mean. So kilometers per hour, miles per hour, meters per second. How many of the distance measurement are you doing in one of the time measurement? Okay, let's have a look at another question here. Um, this question says, a car travels 400 kilometers in four hours. What is their speed? Okay, this one's quite straightforward. So remember, we're looking for their speed is how many of the distance they're doing in one hour. So I'm gonna keep my time on the left. So we've got four hours equals 400 kilometers. Four hours equals 400 kilometers. Remember, they're directly proportional. The more hours, the more kilometers you do. 
So we're going to divide both of these by four and that's going to take us to one hour. So four divided by four equals one hour, 400 divided by four equals 100. So this person was going 100 kilometers an hour. Great. Right, I feel like we're on a roll, so I just want to do one more question and then I'll call it a day there. So question three says, if a plane takes two hours to fly a distance of 1,200 kilometers, what is its average speed? So again, we know here that two hours equals 1,200 kilometers. Distance is going to be kilometers per hour. So that is how many kilometers do you go when you go one hour? So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go from two hours to one hours. Hopefully you'll spot that that is by dividing by two. So two divided by two gives us one hour. 1,200 divided by two gives us 600 kilometers. So this person, this plane is going 600 kilometers per hour. Okay, that's great. Now, thank you very much for watching that. Um, and please go get some practice at this on crackmaths.co.uk. It is tutorial 40 and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.